The Missouri National Guard held its seventh annual birthday ball in Osage Beach, Missouri. The formal occasion was an opportunity to bring together units from the Missouri Army and Air National Guard to socialize and celebrate the 379th birthday of the National Guard. This is an opportunity for me to get together with all ranks, all our different units, both Air and Army. Also the opportunity for the families to be able to participate and just enjoy the comradeship and have a great evening. It's just an opportunity for all of us to come together to celebrate a, a long-standing tradition here uh, in America of citizens standing up to serve their nation and to serve their neighbors. It helps us remember all those that have served before us and brought us to this point where we are today. I think it's important for our younger airmen and soldiers to be here at this ball to understand the heritage and the legacy that, uh, that we're leaving behind. And that interaction with the other services between the Army and the Air is very important to them because they are the future of the National Guard. Colonel Gargis was the master of ceremonies for the birthday ball. Welcome to our celebration of the 379th birthday of the National Guard. Truly, really it's an honor to be selected to be the coordinator of the evening, to ensure that it's an enjoyable evening that pays respect to the tradition, but also is a fun evening for all that come to attend. It's just a great opportunity to celebrate a wonderful event in our National Guard history and establish a little bit more camaraderie with friends. I'm at this ball with my wife. We have two sons and they're at home with uh, the grandparents right now. And we just thought that we could enjoy ourselves and kind of have a night off. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the posting of the colors by the Joint Force Headquarters Color Guard. Military customs and ceremonies play an important part in maintaining traditions throughout the evening. And as we look forward to the future, we pray, Father, that you would bless the time that we share around these tables. It's in your name we pray. Amen. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families tonight, so we join together to pay humble tribute and to bear witness to their continued absence. Let us now raise our water glasses in a toast to honor America's POWs and MIAs. Captain Guyano looks forward to the birthday ball each year, but was not able to attend in 2013 because of an overseas deployment. I'm here now, and I know there's soldiers that are still deployed that can't be here, so I always keep them in our thoughts and prayers. General Danner was presented with artwork from the Missouri National Guard Association for his leadership. The drawing captured a scene from a trip that General Dana recently took to the World War II battlefields in France as part of a fundraising effort for the National Guard Educational Foundation. It is a moving, moving experience when you see those veterans there who came before us on whose shoulders that we stand. Thank you very much. Chief Warrant Officer Robert Springer received an award for his leadership as commander of the 135th Army Band, which also provided the evening's entertainment for the ball. It's important for your lower enlisted or your junior enlisted and your junior officers to attend this because it's important to network and, and get yourselves out there. The only other time you'll see any other officers outside of your company, regiment, or brigade, battalion is at functions such as these. 
And when you're at an event like this and you meet people from all over the state who do all different types of jobs, it just kind of gives you a bit of perspective and, and it's nice. It's just a great evening of getting to know one another and being able to enjoy the holiday season.